Welcome back, my friends, to Lemmings World Tour. Praise be to God on this glorious day today. So, we're continuing the amateur rank today. I'm hoping that the levels will pick up a little bit in this video, because there were a few problems I had with the last videos, but I don't want to dwell on that. I want to come in with a clean slate and a good attitude, and that, I think, is the most important thing here. So we're on level 16, slided in by White Snake. We have 25 Lemmings. Ooh, we can kill five of them. Well, I'm guessing swimmers are going to be part of the solution right off the bat. Gliders and floaters can enter and exit in midair, even when there is no ground underneath. Regular faller lemmings can't do this. Keep in mind that the trigger for measuring a glider's pos uh, position is at its feet, not its head. Never mind, maybe it won't be involving... Oh yeah, we've got Twain, and it's a rockin' remix. Oh yes we do, we have a rockin' remix. And we're going to do something today. Alright, so looking at this, clearly we're going to need some platformers. Wait, it's not this simple, is it? I love the music here. Is it seriously just going to be this easy? I see a major back route. Cool. Now we'll start platforming from there. Oh, watch this. One platformer to spare. We've got to cut the fall, so we'll use that, and then we can just bash through. Okay, that is most certainly a back route. I didn't even touch the floaters or gliders. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> I think I think that that needs a back route. See how he thinks. <laughs> oh well. Well, we're off to a great start, aren't we? If start your day the right way, everybody, with a healthy breakfast of back routes. We are on level seventeen now. Float by flogging Molly. That. That sounds like a terrible band name. Molly doesn't deserve to be flogged. Anyhow, we've got ten lemmings. We can kill one of them, and we are in the Scottish tile set, laddie. Swimmers and gliders will always move to the top of the water or an updraft area, respectively. Cool, cool, cool. Um, heck yes. <laughs> A country version of She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. That's amazing. I'm a huge sucker for the banjo and the harmonica. Okay, wait, wait, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. So, moving backwards, they can all glide. Oh, yeah, that's a Well, no sweat off my back. Maybe a little sweat off my back, because I don't want him to hit that. Oh wait, no, he can hit that, that's fine. Because we got stoners. And he won't climb up the stoner. Watch that be like, Artie, that was a crucial skill. Thank you for no, uh, for no deadly ceilings. That was one change I did not think was necessary. One thing you might want to think about, um... Wait, who drowned? He drowned, okay. One thing you might want to think about, and this personally does not bother me, 
thought other people might be like, oh, why do I have to assign everybody a glider? Just make them gliders right out of the hatch. Uh, my ba I'm sorry, but I feel like that is... that should be uh, walkable up. Alright, well... Uh-huh. Well, the trigger areas are weird, so even though he walks right in that pink square, his feet are technically one pixel into the ground, so he misses them. Yeah, so again, I personally have no problem with ma manually assigning them all gliders, especially since there are only ten lemmings, but some people might be like, Oh, well, that's dumb. Uh, why should I have to click the mouse nine times in order to beat the level? So make the change if you want. It's not necessary. I'm just saying, since you're probably going to have to change the stuff anyways from my last level that I backrooted, it's something to think about. Okay, well that one definitely looks more intended. Nice little level! Also, I swear that those look more like rocks than clouds, but I, I have no problem with people using them for whatever they want. Right on! So, that, wow, 2 minutes 40 seconds exactly. That's, that's pretty cool. Let's move on! Level 18, Tears in Heaven by Eric Clampton. Okay, we can kill him, I mean, this time, and this is a ni another nice-looking sky level with one-way fields from the look of it. Those are not used very frequently. Oh, and we got two hatches, one on a bunch of balloons. Sadly, you can't always take whatever route you might want to choose. One-way fields are one-way streets that only allow lemmings to pass in one direction, left or right. In the other direction, they work just like blockers do. Yep. So here are the one-way fields. So right off the bat, we're going to need to do some uh, building. And some building. And it looks to me... <laughs> mish, 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 mish. My name's Bane. Okay. What I'm worried about already is this side. Uh, well, we've got a blocker and we've got a stacker, so that should be fine. <laughs> I expected them to go out the other way. Alright, that's fine. Hmm, I don't want that to happen to that landing. Because I'm already going to be losing the block. Let's see. Well, I mean, I'm gonna need the builder to get through there. Actually, I'm gonna put the stacker farmer back so we can bash through it easily. I'll, fig I'll figure out what to do with that guy later. It's so, alright, we got three builders left. We're gonna need one, two. Okay, so we do have a third one. Except we can't use it there. Alright. Bit of a trouble, bit of a problem. Well, what's the miner going to be used for? The miner doesn't seem to be used for a whole lot. So, wait a second, wait a second. That's potentially an easier way out. The question is, I don't think we're going to have enough builders to work with, with like that. Because we guaranteed need three there. Which means we only have two on that side. That's not going to be enough, I don't think. Especially with that weird terrain there, so... New strategy. New strategy was a bad strategy. Oh, and I assigned him on the exact same frame that I assigned that guy. Of course I did.
Wow, okay. <laughs> This looks, this is a surprisingly tricky level right here. No, we really don't want that. No, 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 we really do not want that. Darn it. This is a tricky level, make no mistake about that. I bet I'm doing it entirely incorrectly. How far down is this? Alright. So that's the lemming we can lose. Let's bash through there. Wait for the lemming to come out there, and now let's... Now let's crank up that really straight. Ah, no. I was hoping that they'd all turn around before, and then he'd get a chance to build. Hmm. Not entirely sure what to do here, if I'm being perfectly honest. So let's, let's try something else. If we mine through this, will they survive? I mean, we'll know by the sound effects. No, they will not. What if we mine from a different point? Nope. Darn it. Interesting, so mining immediately after the hatch, they will survive. The question is, can they now get out of that in just two builders? My guess is no. No, that wouldn't be even be high enough to get them out of the... get them above the one-way field. But that is a viable option. from as high up as we can. Still not enough. Because we absolutely unequivocally need three builders on that side. Alright, maybe we're doing this wrong. Maybe we don't use the blocker on this side. Maybe we use the miner on this side. Alright, now we'll do 
that, and then we'll stack. Now, hopefully we can just bash him out. Cool! I'm liking this. Hmm. Problem, though. We don't have enough builders now to finish the job. Okay, no, no, no! Oh, wait, 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 okay, hang on. Ooh, wait, I have it, okay. So I was doing it the right way, however... We block them and nobody goes through on that side. This side's going to do all the work. We can just bash them all out, if we want. This should cut their splat height. Then we can... Don't do this to me! I hope that's still all not splat height. I don't think it will be, but... It'll be tight. So we need to bash him as low as possible. Phew! Alright, well that seems to be intended. That seems a little too precise, specifically with the steel right there. If you made it a little higher up, it wouldn't be as precise. But, wow, that was, that was a fun level. I was enjoying that, and that was actually surprisingly tricky. Oh, and I saved everybody. Oh, I saved everybody! Oh, never mind. Well, maybe you don't have to. <laughs> maybe make that a talisman or something. I don't know. Level 19, holding out for a hero. Yes, I love the medieval tile set. By Bonnie Tyler. We have 21, that means we can kill one. Alrighty. Ah, uh, and that's a pretty nice looking background level, if I do say so myself. When a level, when a lemming is pre-placed in a level and has several athletic skills, you won't be able to tell which kind of skills it has by looking at the hatch, because it didn't come out of a hatch in the first place. Instead, hover your mouse over the lemming and press Alt to see the initials of all its skills. I did not know that! Climber, swimmer, glider, disarmer. I actually never knew that! Thank you for telling me that! Holy cow! That's also not intuitive. That's part of it. Okay. So it looks like these guys are the ones who are holding out for a hero. And this guy is said hero. <laughs> I happen to be a hero. Or maybe... Hmm. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. So we can kill all that mean. Uh, and there's a trap there. Alright. So here's my thing. How are we going to get this guy over that? We will have to use both our stackers and a builder. And for me, it seems very wasteful. Actually, no. Let's try it. We have three builders. That's basically an unlimited amount of builders. Gonna need two builders for that. Which, okay, so we'll have two platformers. I hope that's enough. Let's see. Let's see. We do have some constructive skills, and there aren't that many gaps to get over. Then he can just glide gently there. Swim and climb out of that. Disarm. Beautiful. That's quite a height, though. 
Next question, what is that basher going to be used for? Because I don't see where that would be all that useful as of right now. Now, hey, hey, here's my fame. We can fence up there, make a stacker, bash, they'll all turn around and go down the fencer tunnel. However, we're going to want to carve the pathway before that happens. And we'll have to do that by turning him around somehow. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we need the fencer for that side. Oh, yeah, he'll just turn around naturally. Here I was planning this tricky thing where I'm like, oh, if we fence right here, we can take up just a tiny chunk, and then he can turn around. <laughs> I'm so glad I just let him do his thing, and he turns around normally. Okay, cool. Now, as much as I would love to just fence my way through there, or bash. Oh, this is a really good level. This is a really good level. This thing of the fencer right here is ingenious. Making them go down the fencer tunnel. I don't think I've ever seen that before. So then, unfortunately, the hero dies. Ain't that common. And then we can just fence our way through here. That was a beautiful level. And it tied in with the title of the level perfectly. Oh, that's one of my favorite levels I've played thus far in this pack. That was so good! Oh, that was so good! Can't wax poetic about that enough. Alright, we're on the last level of the day. Level 20, Take Me to Your Heaven by C. Nilsson. Alright, we got 20 lemmings. We can let one of them die. Oh, it's a teleporter level. You know what? I shouldn't judge. Maybe he did it right. A teleporter transports a single lemming to its respective receiver counterpart. While the teleport is taking place, other lemmings won't be able to use it and will simply pass by instead. That's the part of the teleporter that I hate. I like them in Lemmings Revolution, where it doesn't matter how tight a cluster of lemmings enter there. They're all getting through. Alright. Well, I already see what we got to do at the start. Alright, now, which destructive skill should we use? So obviously we're going to want to make... Oh, okay, okay, so this is done right. All it needs is a simple platformer, and it doesn't matter. It's ju It literally just is like, oh, it takes a really long time. You'll have to press the space bar a whole bunch. Alright, so we're going to want the fencer for there, absolutely. Besides that, I don't think it really matters. Actually, no, it does. We're going to use the miner instead. Because we got to cut the fall. And now this is where it gets a little tricky. Because now we need to make him bash and put two lemmings close together. So one of them will go through, and the other will not. Well, this also means we're going to have the time coming back as well. And I get that that's like, oh, it's a creative puzzle, and it's unique, and yes, it is true. It is a unique puzzle. I just am not a fan of the timing-based puzzles. Although it just occurred to me that there are there is another digger and another platformer. It'll help make the timing a little easier, because we can platform it from there and then dig. So that's nice. That's nice that he gave us tools to make it easier to pull off. But it's just it things like this, like having to wait for all of these lemmings to enter the teleporter because it's too slow, that's really obnoxious. So I personally would prefer 
teleporters that just instant teleport the lemmings. And that's why I made, for my Lego tile set, I made a teleporter, and it's as fast as possible. Like, it, if you have all the lemmings clustered as close together as possible, it's not going to get them all through. But if it's at a 99 release rate, it will get them all through. It's just like... It's... That's what I like, personally. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. That was the last level of the day. I guess so we don't get to get the sneak peek at level 21. That's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time for ama more amateur levels, 21 through 25. Hopefully they are as good as these were, because these were a huge step up from the last episode's levels, especially that medieval level. Oh my gosh, that... That was a, an amazing level. One of one of the most memorable Lemmings levels I've played in some time, I will say. Just how, how it tied in perfectly with the level title, and just simple, but worked really well. And it taught me something that I never knew, so how can you top that? Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.